Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the dress code Android malware. One of WatchGuard's security partners, Trend Micro, uh, has discovered a new piece of Android malware or spyware that they call dress code. Overall, dress code is kind of a run-of-the-mill malware sample. It's very typical to other Android Trojans. If you get an app that has dress code, uh, your Android will get infected, and this particular dress code app will create a command and control channel that allows the attacker, the remote attacker, to control your device. Now, through that command and control channel, the bad guy can do a lot of things. For instance, he can create a SOX proxy so that he can communicate with other devices on your internal network. Say, for instance, your Android is connected to a Wi-Fi connection inside your home or your office, uh, the bad guy can use your Android device to connect to all your other internal computers as well. They can also use that command and control channel to turn your Android device into a bot to participate in, say, denial of service attacks, or they can even use it for click jacking. And this is where perhaps they get your Android device to uh, browse to advertise revenue generating sites, thus allowing the bad guys to make some money. So long story short, it's very similar to many other Android Trojans out there. Now what's interesting is Trend Micro did find that this particular dress code malware has attached itself to over 3,000 different Android apps. Many of those apps are just on popular Android marketplaces, not the official Google Play one. However, 400 of those apps were found on the official Google Play marketplace. So that means just downloading legitimate apps from Google Play may infect you. One of the most popular infected apps on Google Play was this Minecraft mod that gives you kind of a Grand Theft Auto 5 theme. And according to the Google Play page, almost half a million users have downloaded that particular app, which means they may be infected with this malware. So what should you do about this? Well, first of all, just be very careful what apps you choose to download and install. You need to be selective about what you put on your mobile device. You also might avoid rooting your device. While rooting might be fun for power users, it can disable some of the security mechanisms Android devices have. And this goes for sideloading applications too. Android devices make it very easy for you to sideload or load up applications from any source in the world. I recommend you try to stick with official marketplaces like the Google Play Marketplace. That said, in this case, 400 official Google Marketplace apps were also infected. So just using the official marketplace won't always uh, protect you, which is why you should also consider some local Android security software. In any case, I just thought it was an interesting story for Android user, and at the very least, if you are Android user, check out Trend Micro's blog. Among other things, they list out some of the known bad hashes for this particular threat. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.